Hey guys, welcome to Convolution. My name's Khan, and it's freaking hot today. God damn. But uh, at least we can cool down with an episode of Harley Quinn season two, episode four. I say cool down because I, I, I'm looking at the thumbnail and it literally shows uh, Mr. Freeze. You know what I'm saying? And episode four is specifically titled Thawing Hearts. The last time when we left off on episode three, which by the way, if you guys haven't checked out my reaction to any of my previous Harley Quinn episodes, the links are down in the description below. As well as if you guys can go ahead and check those out before joining back with me for episode four. Uh, last we left off that Harley and her crew with the help of Catwoman actually stormed Trapmaster's little secret museum of treasures you know it literally looks like he stormed freaking batman's uh, underground secret bat cave uh, what do you call a uh, rogues gallery but um yeah they went down there to basically grab firefly's flamethrower so they can get into freaking mr freeze's you know snow globe whatnot you know apparently that's the only weapon hot enough to get through i don't know but it, they got it so uh, hopefully they're gonna get into it but the other development is that you know Har uh, ivy actually accepted what do you call kite man's proposal for mariage mari or, or as uh clayface likes to call it mariage <laughs> I actually want to see Clayface's Stephanie version again. I want to see Clayface develop a relationship with Chad. Let's get that. You know what I'm saying? Um, as always, if you guys are enjoying watching these videos with me, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with any other fans of DC or Harley Quinn out there. And uh, come over to uh, my Discord. Also, check out my twitch.tv slash compolution where I'm streaming some Final Fantasy VII Remake currently. And with that all being said, let's go ahead and dive into uh, Season 2, Episode 4 of Harley Quinn. In 3, 2, 1, Harley Quinn, son! Hey, they're burning it. <laughs> Look at that. They're all like, ooh. What is that? It's a vagina. Oh, a human vagina. I'm trying to flip the script, bitches. So beautiful. It reminds me of my mother. Listen, Georgia. Okay. <laughs> what? It's so detailed. We still have some fuel. Let's go kill Mr. Freeze. Wow. He finally did it, and she finally said yes. Oh, wow. He could do better. Oh, I <laughs> He could do better. He could do better. Been gone until dad tries to fight us. Uh, oh, they got back the skates! The skate henchmen! Oh my god. I guess I'll bring Tabitha. I am betrothed to her. Wait, what? Oh shit! Oh, goddamn! <laughs> damn! Holy shit, Harley! It's funny because it's like Har uh I Tanya, Margot Robbie. It's Lady Gaga! <laughs> It is unfortunate that the cold displeases you so much. Psycho's <laughs> on all. Oh shit! Oh! Holy shit! Again, Harley? Come on! That's why you gotta bring Firefly's freaking flamethrower. Hello. From my nemesis. Ooh. Congrats on the engagement. Hey, it's Condiment King. What an asshole! But what else should I expect? From my nemesis. Chuck, are you okay? No, I'm freaking Pam. It's the venue. And if we don't get it, the whole wedding will be wrong. Hey, relax. <laughs> okay. I have been dreaming of getting married at the old Gotham Corn Factory. I'm a little on it. Well then, what are we waiting for, hon? Let's go get that venue. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, does this tie go with this kite? Okay, no tie goes with the kite, <laughs> but you do look really handsome. Aww. But I have no intention of killing you. Oh, hey, nice. What are you gonna do to us, you frigid? <laughs> I created this lab for the sole purpose of finding a cure for my wife's incredibly rare blood disease. Oh, yes. I have been performing a multitude of experiments. The experiments have been a rousing success. Holy shit. Cheese and crackers. It coincides with my decision to move on to human experimentation. Oh boy. Well, at least play <laughs> we're saved. <laughs> he is a man shark. He is like an aged little boy and hmm, a dirt man. <laughs> oh shit. Ay! Uh, oh boy. Yeah, right! I don't know how much this will hurt, that it will sting a little. Yeah. I know how we can save your wife. It My friend's a doctor and the smartest person I know. Wow, that's the nicest thing you've ever seen. Oh my about. god. Are you idiot, <laughs> Ivy? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I... Why would Dr. Isley help me? She wouldn't, but she'll help me. There's only one thing we can do while we wait. Lunch! Lunch. We'll go make preparations. But do you really think Ivy can find a cure? Yeah, but I'm not bringing her here and putting her in danger. I'm buying us time. This weirdo is all gross and obsessed with this dumb dying wife. Some might call that love. I can freeze his ass in a block of ice. 
I feel like that wouldn't work. When we're frozen to chairs. Right. Someone pass the mac and cheese. Uh, Nora hasn't hosted guests in quite some time. Oh my god. So I thought that blue perv gets his jollies by freezing women. As a former ice block victim, and I decided we're gonna save his wife first. Then kill him. Oh. Mitchell. What the hell are you doing? Oh my here? god, he's oh, real. The wedding venues are tough to come by in new New Gotham. And there's only one unbooked weekend left. We can do this wherever. I will not yield. Once the manager sees the biggest power couple in Gotham, it's gonna be tough to impress him with that stain on your suit. What, 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 what stain? <gasps> that one. What's wrong with your face? <laughs> the consumption of cooked meats increases my body temperature and puts me at risk of death. Describe the mouth feel of your steak. Oh my god. Uh, butter like? Like butter. Yes. Alright, this is some weird silence of the lamb shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's I what I was about to say. It's so hateable. So, how did you meet? Was she alive then? It's a funny oh my God. story. Nora was the owner of a mom and pop cryogenics lab, and I was determined to squash it. Mom and pop cryogenics lab? All I hear is a story of a big swinging dick coming in and ruining a woman's livelihood. Oh, you grin. She's all sour on love right now. Yeah, she's not even taking a date to her best friend's wedding. <laughs> I suspect your cynicism comes from never having experienced true love. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this is definitely tumor. Hmm? Love is Oh. This episode I will is dope. Never forgive Joker for the damage he's done to your heart. Mm. We need to get that gun. Play face, grab the gun, de ice us, then give me the gun. Great plan, boss. I'm ah. Whoopsies. I think I speak for me and Harley when I say thank you. Wow. I'm not buying your bullshit story. You fucking froze her. What are you doing? Giving her the freedom you denied me. Harley, you don't know what you're doing. This is for ruining her small business. Oh! But I gaze upon your face can only mean one thing. You found a cure. <gasps> I'm sorry, what was that? You've condemned her to death. I'm going to blow this entire place up and kill us all. Oh, boy. Oh, Harley screwed up. Shit. Right. Let me check on her ETA. Yeah. Oh, hi. I thought I smelled a kite. Never gonna get this place. We should just leave. Hey, hey, up here, okay? F guy, he's a dick. We're gonna blow that manager's goddamn socks off. The old Gotham Corn Factory is just so rich with history. You know, I think that's what we really connect with. Ah, it's Harley, and she never calls eleven times unless it's an emergency. Well, uh, you know, I'm, per I'm a husk. Yeah. Right, Harley's gotten herself into some serious trouble, and I have to go save her. I'm sorry. Yep. I love you, Emily. Just go somewhere else, bro. They're super villains. Just take it. Just read the situation. We will die together because I'm blowing the whole place up. Holy no, shit. You are not. I didn't know what else to do other than call the smartest, coolest, hottest person I know. Well, that is true. Mm. Freeze is crazy. You tried to kill me. Everyone else wanted to kill you, but I convinced them to freeze you. Oh. I hope you're proud of yourself. Right. You falsely accused the most woke ice themed villain in all. <laughs> most <of> woke. <laughs> <laughs> True. Sup, Baberino? Anything for you. My betrothed needs the K-Man. ASAP. If you leave right now, this is definitely going to affect my decision. Things we do for love, right? Oh, shit. Ding. That was pretty cool. Jack, what color petals am I looking for? Magenta. Right. <laughs> oh, right. shit. That, that, that's like a... Don't touch the reddish pink ones. They're paralytic, okay? Oh, shit. Cool. Uh, how long does that take to kick in? Y you know what? Doesn't matter. Uh... Ah, kite man to the rescue! <laughs> uh oh. Hey, at least he got through. At least he got through. Don't worry, it, it's gonna wear off. <laughs> Ooh, the music. Nora needs a blood transfusion, but unfortunately, her blood type is as rare as her blood disease. Then we can give your healthy blood to your wife. Your wife? A transfusion will kill you. <gasps> oh shit! What? My condolences. Why the hell? <laughs> well, I've never been more thankful for my shark blood. And as previously stated, I am a dirt thing. So <laughs> it no, it must be my sacrifice. The only reason I've suffered through life in this is to find a cure for Nora. Then I greet my end with open arms. Holy shit! For if you truly love someone, you will do anything for them. Damn. 
Damn, this, this episode is emotional as hell, dude. What the freak? Goodbye, my love. I will never stop loving you. Damn. Wow, they actually killed off Mr. Freeze. Yeah, seriously, my feeling feelings. Seen truer love than that. Speaking of pearls, I mean, if I can find true love, then there's hope for you too. He seemed like a really great guy. Yeah, good guy. So, so sorry. Get out of here, babe. I'm just, I'm so sorry that I left the venue. I know it doesn't matter where we get married. The only thing that matters is that I get to marry you. Word. I even... Hope you had a backup venue, you kited douche. Looks like you didn't cut the mustard. <laughs> oh, Jesus, here we go. Mayo, have a good day. He is. I think he's my nemesis now, too. <laughs> right. All those stupid ass freaking condiment jokes. Wow, that was a much more emotional episode than I thought it would be. So, wow. Okay, so not only did they kill off Penguin, but they're also choosing to kill off uh, Mr. Freeze as well. But, you know, whereas Penguin's uh, uh, demise was much more deserved and, like, gruesome and much more related to I, uh, Harley specifically, this one was much more emotional. Like, the music and everything that was happening. I mean, a lot of what happens in the series is very fast-paced and it, there's not a lot of time between specific scenes, I feel, to, like, you know, uh, make them uh, much more impactful than they already are. But that being said, I feel like this episode really hits home on the emotions and the feels just a little bit. Because like King Shark said, you know, the, the Mr. Freeze was one of the probably most woke uh, ice cream like villains we've had thus far. You know what I'm saying? So and plus, you know, it, it, he was right all along. He was trying to find a cure for his wife's uh, uh, very unique blood disease. And it, that's why she was frozen in uh, ice for so long. So Harley, Harley got to build that emotional intelligence a little bit more before where she can, you know, uh, uh, grow as a character because, you know, otherwise she wouldn't just unfreeze, you know, Miss, Mrs. Freeze for that matter. But man, like I said, man, it's emotional shit, man. I didn't think it was, it was going to be that emotional, but like, yeah. I mean, if you guys have seen like Mr. Freeze's, um, story in other animated series and in the comics it's it's, it's he's more one of the more you know uh, emotional type of villains yeah he commits a lot of crimes but he has he does it for out of love you know i mean even the movie despite what it was you know batman and robin you know with the schwarzenegger mr freeze uh he still had that ultimate goal at the end and it's crazy because we had ivy in that scene as well uh i mean in that movie as well and here ivy's responsible for getting the cure so you know a lot of times we see harley quinn and ivy together we often forget that ivy and Harley are both freaking doctors and like one's a chemist the other's a psychologist yet they're super villains and they're best friends you know what I'm saying you got two doctorates in one you got three doctors because then we got Dr. Psycho too I don't even know if that fool has a PhD or not but I don't, I don't know and King Shark I don't remember how he became King Shark but I think he's a scientist as well and uh Clayface I don't know, man. We, we got some pretty cool uh, intellectuals in this crew. Usually, most supervillains are intellectuals that have just gotten a little bit too cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. So, I, I wonder if they're gonna continue the story with Mrs. Uh, Freeze taking over the Mr. Freeze role, you know what I'm saying? Like, eh, I don't know if the, she, she's gonna play into this, this stuff going forward, but, man, oh, man. Like, I, I, great, great episode. I, I li 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 really feel for Mr. Freeze. It's sad to see his, that he's gone. Uh, so, uh, uh, Penguin gone, uh, Mr. Freeze gone. Thankfully, Riddler is still alive. I'm guessing we're gonna get Bane or Two-Face next. I don't really care too much about Two-Face, but Bane... You better keep that fool alive, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, with that all being said, what did you guys think of this episode? Did you guys feel it was emotional as much as I did, or even more so, you know? Because, yeah, like, I mean, I didn't tear up, obviously, but, like, I don't know, man. If it, if it dragged on a little bit longer... I might have, man. It's, it's, this is some good shit. Uh, yeah, leave your comments down below, and I will see you guys next week in Harley Quinn Season 2, Episode 5. So until then, have a wonderful day or wonderful night wherever you guys are. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that like button, and feel free to share the video. And I'll see you guys next time.